ask you a question. How did you find your way to Tibi Beng Beng on his birthday? You are supposed to be on lockdown. Explain yourself. Love me down. Explain yourself. Love me do. Love me do. Love me oh, do. Love me 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 do. I just realized that sometimes fans they create unnecessary talks. You know, I've said this in one of my videos about I crazy and the chivious problem. And I'm still saying it here again. Press David and then Polar, they were doing live streaming. Different live streaming. Press David was having a live streaming with um, Rick Cherry. And they were laughing and shouting because it was a love game. It was so interesting. It was hilarious. And Bolale had them shouting and laughing. Bolale was just saying that uh, probably they are fighting again. And that has got to Rosie. There is something I noticed in Rosie. When Rosie hears something, Rosie is curious to know about what is going on. So she just asked, what is going on? What is going on? Then Bolale just said that they are fighting again. That's what they can do. So I don't know why should that be a problem. Then that moment Arnold was doing a live streaming. Um, some of the fans were there telling Arnold that Press David is on live streaming with Mick Jerry. And it was not just something that people should talk about. But people are talking about it. There is no problem in it. Bolale has the right to say what he feels. She might be thinking that that's what's happening. Press David and Mick Cherry, they have the right to shout, they have the right to laugh, they have the right to have fun. So is there any problem for people to instigate problem? Oh my God. So nobody have the right to do your live streaming and be laughing and shouting. That's what I want to ask. And Bolare doesn't have the right to say her mind. So there's no problem in this. So why are people talking about it? Why are people trying to bring problem between Bolar and then Press David? Oh my God, you guys should just stop this. I know that there is a new friendship crew after the house. You know, outside the house is a different ball game. Now, the friendship, the way they seal it is different. I don't even understand myself. But that doesn't mean that everybody should have grudges in your mind. I like Bolale. I like her very well. I like her personality. I like her talent. I like, I like her creativity. But sometimes Bolare jump before the music. So I don't know for her, and that was the little problem she normally have with Anor. Anor always advised her, stop talking about things, stop talking about things. For me, those uh, tweets doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to instigate anything. So what I'm just trying to advise is, you are a fan of Itreza. Be a fan of Itreza. Nobody is forcing you to like Roxy. You are a fan of uh, Roxy. Be a fan of Roxy. Nobody is forcing you. Fine. You are a fan of Press David. Nobody is forcing you to like Bolar. You are a fan of Bolar. Nobody is forcing you to like Chivier. You are a fan of Mick Cherry. And a lot more, etc. These are just examples. Nobody forced you to like anybody. You are the one who look at the person and you just say that, okay, these are the reasons why I like this couple. So, so it be. You don't just want to like somebody and you want everybody to like them. It's not possible. It's too, 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 too odd. It's not possible. We are all matured. We have our reasons of liking a couple. Just like your couple and leave me. Let me like my couple. If I say something good about my couple, it's left to me. If I say something bad about my couple, it's still left to me. But you cannot just come trying to drag to tell me that your couple is better than my couple or my couple is better than your own. No, it doesn't want it. We are just talking about these people. They don't even know us. It's like those players, those big, big players people are calling, like example, Sergio Mane in Senegal. How so people be calling Sadio Mane, Sadio Mane, Sadio Mane. You have never even seen Sadio Mane. And then you'll be fighting for Sadio Mane every day. And Sadio Mane is enjoying himself in Senegal. It now, if you just want to mention all these European footballers, I don't know anything about football, but I'm just giving an example like the supporters are the ones who always fight. We should just reduce it. Let's just have fun. This period we are in, we are all depressed, we are all looking for fun, we are all looking for something that can make us to feel good, makes us to feel relaxed. So why people are always trying to bring beef between this couple and that couple? Even a little thing, they will just carry it and bring it in the internet and say, eh, this person, I don't know why. It doesn't want it. 
It doesn't worth it. And moreover, they cannot say that they will not fight. Of course they will because all of them are looking for one thing. They're not going to marry one man. But all of them are looking for one thing. And that's what? Fan base. All of them are looking for fun. They are chasing the crowd to love them. They will do whatever it takes for people to like them. Like for instance now, Press David Icreza, Chivia, mm -hmm, and then JK. They are very close. And the other side is Roxy, Obi Ebi, and then Double Chris. So it doesn't mean that because they are in the same hotel, they should be sharing the same thing. They should be talking to each other. My dear, you walk into the half part, you do not know me. I walk into the love part, I don't know you. So what is it if I don't talk to you? It's still the same. We all went there for one thing. Fame. We all went there for one thing. That's fame. Some of them were not there for marriage. They were just there to get fame. So now that they have got the fame, they are going to utilize it. As of now, I love Press David. I really love what they are doing because they are creating a lot of things. They are making people busy. They are making people to be aware of them. They are making people to know more about them. And they are very talented and creative. So if you are not a Press David fan, don't come and tell me anything. Don't come and tell me that those people are fake or those people are this. If I say this couple is fake today, the next day I see the couple have done something good, I will still come here and tell people, hey, today what I saw is different from what I said yesterday. Because it's the moment we are talking about, not the past. Right now, what they are dishing, I really appreciate it. They are really doing well. And Roxy, they are also doing well. They are doing well, extremely well. Why? Because they are inviting a therapist, that's a counselor, to talk about relationship. And I am learning, and you are learning. So only just that, you can feel like, they are doing their best for people to know about them, for people to not to forget about them. Some of the couples like Jello, they are quiet for a while. I don't know whether they are not staying together, that's why or not. And, I, and they are also a good couple, but they are quiet for a while. You just see them individual pictures, but you don't see all these collaboration videos or seeing them in their couple video is very rare now because I think it's a lockdown and they are staying apart. So probably that's the reason, but I wish that they will come back again and come and dish it out. Yes, hot, hot. For Mick Cherry, yes, at least people have forgot about them, but, but now they have come back. Because they are joining Press David, they are game. And the game is interesting. It's a love game. You can even be watching it. They always do it around 5 or 6 p.m. So you can always be there to watch it. It's not a big deal, my dear friend. It's not something that you'll be fighting for. It's there for you to enjoy yourself. Let the moment be. After this moment, it's something else. As at now, people are talking about Messi and Ike. Messi and Ike. That spicy we are waiting for. Even yesterday, I was shocked. That they gave us only 30 minutes. I was thinking that it's going to be a reality show from morning to evening. So that I'll be getting what I'm going to talk about. But right now, they just gave us 30 minutes. That's so bad. It's too small for me. I wanted to get it more. So, guys, stop instigating things. Talk about things you know. Don't talk about what you don't know. For me, whenever I come here to analyze, I always want to say the things I know. And the way I feel it and the way I can say it. Not because I just want to instigate or I just want to jump heads or I just want to bring problem or I just want to have viewers. No. Lie, lie. That's not my problem. My problem is to satisfy you people, the viewers out there, but not to give you wrong information. There is no problem between Press David and then Bola. It was just a misunderstanding. And I think that they have ironed it out. Of course, yes, they will iron it out because they are all matured. And so this video is going to be random because... I'm just talking the way I am thinking about it. Someone also said that Bolare and then Anor, their relationship is not mutual. Because Anor is just trying to fake the relationship. Just trying to fake to like Bola. And the other person, the other hand said that Bolale is a nice person. Bolale is fun to be. So Anor has realized the kind of woman Bolale is. That's why Anor has changed. Me, I don't know. I don't know. But I know that Bolale is a nice person. She have a heart of a goal. Even despite the fact she talks too much, despite the fact she like um, shouting and Anor doesn't like all this stuff. But yet still, if Anor loves Bolale, that's fine. If Anor did not love Bolale, my dear, there will be no time. You will know the difference whether Anor loves Bolale or not. And we are all waiting for that moment. Because this moment, Anor is showering Bolale with love. 
He is really trying. He is cherishing Bolali, hugging, kissing, sweet words, even singing for Bolali. And that's all we need as a woman. So you need your man to be there for you. You need your man to be romantic. You need your man to be handsome, cute. But happiness is more important than anything. There are so many words Bolali said in that video I uploaded like three days back or four days back. She said a lot. And I was even cheering because I wish that all those things Bolari is saying that she wished her man to be is in honor. I'm not sure, but I wish that it is in honor because the girl, she deserves to be happy. She deserves to be happy. Yes. And you out there, try not to say that I can never be happy. If one person can be happy out there, believe in yourself. You'll be happy someday. Of course you'll be happy you will be happy and then last but not the least of the video i want to talk about chivia clearly the live stream video with um bolale and then bolale asked during the birthday did you do that thing <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna check that video if i see it on my gallery i'll post it here they do not have intimacy that's what she said she said through action so if you watch the video, you will really understand what I'm saying if you are matured enough. So I don't know whether it's true or not, but that bad day night, I know that it was late. I know Kitty Banks was smiling all through. <laughs> How can a fine girl come and meet you in that night? Hey, 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 Banks, <laughs> Kitty Bang Banks. <laughs> anyway, I think, um, I think me, I'm having fun. I'm having fun talking to you guys here. It's late. So I had to do one video. This is the second video. As I told you guys, I'm not going to edit this video. I'm going to upload it like that. So if I have any blunders I say here, please pardon me, pardon my manners. But anyway, I love you guys. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's a tradition. I have to say it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment. Be a commenter. A sweet commenter. I love you guys. And see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>